Recently I was yabbying with Holly in the New South Wales of Riverina region and I put a net in this roadside swamp and I caught a few yabbies but one of them was enormous. So today I've come back with some drop nets to see if I can catch some more big yabbies. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Now here's my nets. Two of them are baited up with carp, with a small carp, which is legal in New South Wales. And two of them are baited up with yellow belly, some yellow belly offcuts from, from some yellow belly fillets. And they're in the bait bombs because it's just the shoulders and stuff that are a bit fiddly to tie in. Two nets baited with carp, two baited with yellow belly offcuts. Let's get them in and see if there's still any big yabbies in here. And there could be a fair bit of background noise here from traffic going past. This is quite a busy road and also from the wind. It's quite a windy day. Anyway, I'll put this one over here near the mouth of that drain. Net number two can just go out here. Net number three can go out there. Hopefully that's deep enough. Net number four, I might put on the other side of the road here in the mouth of the drain. This is the actual drain that runs under the road. Not very deep. Should be deep enough though. If the water was clear it wouldn't be deep enough, but in water this dirty that should be plenty deep enough. 220. I'll give them about 20 minutes before the first check. Check out this swamp, all that water out there, that's all private property. I can only go on this side of the fence because I'm on the road side and the lay on the road here, but over there is all private property. I'd love to have access to it and be able to put my kayak on and paddle out and just put some nets out in the open. What an adventure that'd be. But I reckon with this dry summer they're forecasting, they could get really low and maybe even dry up. Patience has never been a strength of mine. I said I'd give them 20 minutes and it's only been a bit over 10. But I can't wait to see what's in here. Heaps of mud. Thought I'd caught a carp then for a minute. <laughs> Nothing in that one. Oh, one flipped out of that. I've got one, I've got two. I've got two, one flipped out because the net, this cord is so tangled. When I pulled it up, all I did was untangle cord. I, alerted them to my presence this one's a bit small but i'll put him in for now right well there was three in that net then but i only got one of them well that's a good start i really need to look at uh putting new strings on these nets to prevent that happening again and none in number four Right, first check. I've got three yabbies. Actually, I've got two yabbies. One of them flipped out of the net. I've got two yabbies and lost another all in the one net, and the others were yabby-less. I'll give them a bit longer this time. Right, it's time to check these nets again. It's been about 20 minutes. Now, this one here, if there's nothing in it, I'm going to move this to another spot. A little bit of a dam just around the corner. That is so tangled. Yeah, that's not a good spot there. Well, it's not tangled. It's just covered in mud. There's some kind of weed or something under there, it's just... Yeah, I'm going to move this to a different spot. There's a bit of a dam across the road, just... It's been connected to this swamp, but it's just become disconnected as the swamp's going down. I'm going to move this net to that little dam. Alright, net number two. Oh, that's full of mud or something too, is it? It's got two yabbies in it, one of them's too small. There's still lots of that muddy, grimy stuff in there. That little one there can go back in the dam. This one here is not huge, but he's big enough to eat. I'll throw him in the bucket. Oh, he nearly got me. He nearly ate me. Certainly not the big one. Nothing like the big one that I got here the other day. Which is what I'm hoping for. He can go in the bucket. Can go back out there. Now this was the best net last time. This had two and lost one. Oh, look at them all this time. That's the spot. Have a look at that. Right there next to the road. That's the spot. I'm gonna get a photo of that.
They're not huge yabbies, but they're big enough. Certainly you get a bit of meat off them tails. One, two, three. He fell over the side, I think. Four, that one's a bit small, but he's nearly dead anyway. I'll put them down there and see if they separate. Four, five, six, uh, seven, eight. I put him back in there because he's in danger. So there was eight in that bucket then, in that net then. That's the go. I'll throw him back as well, I think. He's a bit on the small side. Right. There was eight in that net, two of which went back in the dam. Awesome. This is the spot right over here, just in front of the, just in front of the drain. Now, if there's nothing in this net, I think I'll move this one too. Oh no, there's two in it. Two. They're a size that's uh, okay to eat, but not huge. I'll just turn them upside down and I'll fall in, or one fell in. Certainly not the big ones I was hoping for, but big enough that I can get a bit of meat off the tail. Very pale yabbies out of this really dirty water. Right, I put this one back down there where I just caught those two yabbies. The net that I took out is going into a dam over there. And if I uh, catch heaps over there, well, I might move in more of these nets over there. But I'll just put one in there now and see how it goes. I might grab some of this grass from the side of the road here and put it in there to stop them from killing each other. Right now, I'm going to put this net that I've moved in this tank. At home, we call these dams. But up here in New South Wales, they call, it, they call them tanks. This is a tank. Right, and I'll throw that out into the tank. See if I can catch any yabbies here. Right, it's time to check them again. Last time I checked these nets, there was two in this net and eight in that net over near the drain. Uh, none this time. I might move that one over into the tank with the net that I moved before. This is the net that had a whopping eight yabbies in it last time. It has just one. It's not a bad size yabby either. No signs of the real big ones that I've got to use just a couple of weeks ago. Getting a lot more this time, but I'm certainly not getting any really big ones. That's big enough. It's just not a monster. Now the other side of the road net, there was two in this net last time. None this time. Should I risk putting three into the tank when I really don't know what to expect? I think I will. I put three in that tank and just leave one in this lagoon. Right, I've left one over there in the swamp and I've got this one still to check and I've got two more to put in here. Hopefully there's something in here. If there's not, I'm going to be uh, wondering whether I've made the right move <laughs> by moving those other nets. Yes, there's yabbies in here. Beauty. Not very big though. There was one flicked out and there's still two in the net. And they're not real big, are they? Now, where there's little ones, there's got to be big ones. Uh, yeah, I'll throw them in. From now on, I'm only going to keep any that are a, uh, a reasonable size. I've kept too many that aren't quite big enough. Gee, this net's stuffed. I'd love to put my homemade, my homemade nets in here, my homemade wire nets, but they're actually not legal in New South Wales, I don't think. I think the funnel size is too big and the mesh size mightn't be good enough. Mightn't be right. Right, net number three can go just out there. I put those nets in 15 minutes ago, and since then I've seen nine bearded dragons, including this one. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> nine bearded dragons and one brown snake. The reptiles are out in full force today. That reminds me, you better watch where I put my feet. Right, I've just been exploring for the last half an hour. Now it's time to check the nets for the last time and then pull them out. Oh, what's in here? One, two, three, four, five. Look, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them all in because I'm probably going to put all these yabbies back. I, I might keep some of the biggest ones, but most of them haven't been the size I was after. I'll do a bit of a stock take after I check the last net. This is one of the nets that I moved last time. I'll hold my arms up nice and high and lift and... Whoa, there's a big one and he got out. No, there was a monster in there. Did you see that? 
There was a monster in there. That I haven't caught any big ones. Last time I was here, I caught an absolute monstrous yabby. And I just had one in there then and he got out. Had I not modified these nets and they were deeper, I would have caught that yabby. Oh shit. Maybe he didn't get out. Maybe he didn't get out. I've still got him. I've still got him. He must have been hanging underneath the net, under the bait bomb. I didn't lose him anyway. <laughs> I finally got what I came for. A huge yabby. What I was going to say is, had I not modified the nets and taken the bottom hoop out, I wouldn't have lost the yabby, which I didn't anyway, but I wouldn't have even come close to losing it. But, nor would I have been able to throw it out that far without it tangling. So it was a bit of a trade-off. Anyway, if you look on there, you'll see lots of little white parasites, like leeches, like little bugs of some kind. The best way to get them off is just to put a bit of salt in the water, and they just all fall straight off. Finally, that's what I came for, some big ones. I finally caught one in the last check of the nets. Have a look at it there. <laughs> Come on, give me another big monster mud bug. Yeah, not a monster, but there are some large yabbies in here, large enough. That one there's certainly large enough for a feed. He's only got one claw. And he's big enough for a feed too. I'll do a bit of a, and there's a little bait sized yabby underneath, look at that. Just the right size to go on a hook and sink to the bottom under my dad's boat at Lake Nilakuti. See you later mate, when you're ready. Ow! Go, you stupid thing. You're free! Ow! On my very last check, I can't believe I caught one of the real big kahunas that I came for on the last round of checking the nets. Look at them all in there! Oh, there's some good ones in there too. Yes, beauty. Here's a lovely big yabby. Folks, I've got a feed of yabbies. I'm going to tip them out and do a stock take in a minute and I'll throw the small ones back in the dam or the tank and I'll keep the big ones. I'll put that in there for now. I have a bucket full of legs and claws. Right, time for a stock take. I'm gonna have to be quick. I'm gonna have to use my ninja-like reflexes here. Look at them all. Come back, come back. No. The biggest one's back first back to the dam. Keep him, keep him, keep him, keep him. Five, six, come here big fella, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, look at that one, twelve. Right, I've kept the twelve biggest ones and the rest are fawning their way back into the dam now. Off you go. So I kept twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. There's 27 there. And I threw a few back. I probably caught 30 odd. I reckon I caught 30 or so yabbies. And I'm keeping the 12 biggest ones. Awesome. Get a bit of moisture in there with them. Oh, I tipped you out. No. I went to scoop some water, but the bucket stopped. Well, I've kept 11 of the biggest ones. Just finished packing up. Let's just go and check on the welfare of these yabbies. Because if I leave them here and they're not in the water, they'll be at the mercy of all the water birds. Look, they're not either. There's three that still haven't made their way back. Off you go, mate. You're almost there. You're nearly home and hose. Look at this one. Look how angry he's getting. When yabbies get angry like that at me, no one cares. But when snakes get angry at me, everyone says, leave the poor snake alone. No one matters if I upset the yabbies, though. But like, when I cook them, I put them in the water and everyone jumps up and down and tells me how cruel I am. But no one ever takes issue with me putting a hook through their tail and using them for bait. That's fine. I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, this was awesome. I've got a feed of a dozen yabbies. Well, 
11 yabbies because I let one go. I caught about 30. I've had a wonderful time. I hope you've had a wonderful time watching it. Thank you all very much for watching this video. If you've liked it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because there's more to come.